Hey folks, uh, David Watts, back with another Luminar video. It's been a long time, so my apologies, but I've since transitioned to Luminar 3 with libraries. And for this video, I thought I'd show you quickly how I move my files, my images, from Aperture over to Luminar 3. Uh, maybe you're like me. I used to use Aperture, loved it. Uh, very effective program, I thought, and really disappointed that Apple discontinued it. But that's the way it goes. They didn't ask me. So... Um, for a long time, didn't have any real option for true image management. But now with Luminar 3, with libraries, we do. And I think it's a really good option. I've enjoyed using um, the, the Luminar 3 product with libraries. It's been effective for me. Hopefully it will be for you if you need that kind of solution. So just wanted to show you, here's what I do. I had previously organized my Aperture libraries by year. So this is a uh, set of 2013 images. I take far too many pictures probably and probably keep too many. But anyway, what I tend to do in Aperture is, is come here and select photos. And then uh, clicking on one of them, I hit Control A to select all 10,000 or so that I have. We'll see how many I actually have. Right click and then Export Originals. Yeah, pretty close to 10,000 for this year. There are a few of these that probably referenced other files or referenced the, the source file was stored somewhere else. I'm not too worried about a few exceptions like that. I'm just going to go ahead and tell it export available originals. And then I've built a, a, a photo structure on my external drive. Again, these are uh, 2013 images. So I'm going to store those right in this 2013 folder. And what it'll do is, it, it, as it exports these, it'll build this same sort of file. Uh, it'll build essentially a subfolder for each of these albums, I guess we used to call it, in, um, in Aperture. So anyway, it takes a long time to do that. Uh, it's best just to let it run and come back. It'll uh, take off and do its thing. Let me flip over to Aperture, or excuse me, Luminar 3 just to show you the end result. So, well, let's get back to it real quick. Okay, so here we are in Luminar 3. I've got a ton of photos out here already that I've already migrated over, close to 200,000. Again, take way too many and probably keep too many. Um, what you'll see in this top part, and probably other videos have shown this as well, uh, if you just, for some reason, want to access all those photos, you can do it by clicking here. Any photo that you uh, highlight as a favorite, you can find here. Uh, recently added type photos. Of course, all of mine are pretty recent, so they're all showing up here. Any recent edits I made would show up here. So, for example, if I click on this, apparently I made some edits to this image a little bit ago. And if you're used to Luminar at all, you know that we just come over to the Edit selection. And here's my various uh, filters. In fact, you can see I was playing with the uh, Sky Enhancer a filter a little bit. You can see that that's a pretty effective tool. Uh, let's put it about midway. Turn it off and back on. You can see it makes a pretty substantial difference. But anyway, in the old Luminar, we had to save that. We had to save that as a Luminar file, and then we would also export our resulting image. But now, once we do it, that's all saved in the library, in the catalog, we'd say, uh, for Luminar. So I can go back and let's go down to 2008, for example. And let me double click here, just so we get this view. So you just begin seeing all the different images that I've uh, captured over time. Uh, this is currently sorted by capture time. If I wanted to see maybe more recent edits, I could sort by edit time. So it's very effective, or I could sort by rating, of course. Uh, rather effective and I think pretty easy to work with and usually pretty snappy. I have all my images stored on an external drive. It's a USB 3.0. There are certainly times where I wish it was a little faster, but if you got to go external because you got so many files, there's just maybe not a fantastic option right now for uh, you know huge capacity and really fast access. But anyway, uh, we do what we can. Uh, the key is that you can also turn down the little... Uh, symbol there. And here's all those exported folders from Aperture. So if I wanted to go down here and look at uh, this little folder called Dallas, 
I would see my various images of Dallas. Uh, let's see if I have a better example. Uh, something New York City. Again, you can see I probably keep too many pictures. This will force me to start going through and cleaning up a bit. Uh, let's see if there's one of these that's halfway decent uh, that we can just use as a quick example. Uh, let's take this one. Okay. So we click on it. It takes it just a second to come in nice and crisp. Again, if we need information on it, this is a raw file from uh, back when I was shooting with Canon. And it was taken on, uh, let's see, July 24th, uh, 2008. And to edit it, pretty straightforward. The raw develop filter is, is the one I rely on a lot. We can uh, tweak the, the white balance a little bit. Tweak the exposure as needed. Might uh, see if we bring up the highlights just a little bit. Maybe add some clarity just for some, some real crispness to the picture. There's the Accent AI filter. If you, if you like some input or some, some ideas on some of these various filters, see other videos that I've posted previously. All of those still apply. They were with the previous version of Luminar, but they still apply. Same process. The big thing is we just don't have to save it as a separate Luminar file. Once we're done, we're done. We then would export it to our JPEG or PNG or whatever you want to export to. But um, this is uh, it's very workable for me. I can mark that as a favorite. I can even say, well, this is a four star in my book. Come back to the library. And of course, when I click on favorites, and in fact, let's do this. We'll double click. You can see I've got a whole set of favorites out here, but now there's, there's this image, right? And here's other favorites that uh, I've previously marked. Okay. So anyway, I hope that gives you a real quick view of how I have moved my library from Aperture over to Luminar. Let's get back to Aperture real quick and just see how that uh, process is going. Here we go. And it is a little bit slow, but that's on the Aperture side. So it'll, you know, maybe it'll take it 20 minutes or so. But all those files will then be dumped into the folder structure. Then what I'll do, let's just clarify that real quick. What I'll do is I'll come in here and click plus to give it another folder to monitor. In fact, it'll be this 2013 folder that I'll want it to be watching. And it'll see all those images and pick them up. It doesn't move them anywhere, just catalogs them. And then I've got them available. Anyway, I hope this helps real quick. I'll do some, I'll plan to do some other videos on, on Luminar 3. I like what I see. As you can tell, I've got a lot of images in there and uh, been pretty happy so far with what, uh, what we're doing. My goal is to quickly edit images, get great results as fast as possible, and, uh, and move on. And that's what Luminar has allowed me to do. So I hope that helps just a bit. Have a great day. We'll talk again.